I've gotten so many albums in the past month and I'm typically not a huge album collector because they take up a lot of space, but I have an idea to reorganize my shelf. I've been buying a lot of albums I've always wanted and I found them for really good prices. So I'm gonna go through some I've gotten the past few weeks. I'm gonna start with my Luna albums I've gotten. I've been wanting to collect Luna albums for years. So when I was going back trying to find the ones I wanted, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get first press ones or if I was okay with just the reprints. I was looking around for some first press and they are kind of expensive. They're not too bad, but a lot of the ones I was finding consistently were 30 plus dollars and I don't really want to spend 30 plus dollars, especially when I know the reprints are cheaper. And so I found someone selling a bunch of their reprint albums and I did confirm with them that they were all bought pre-boycott and they were like $5 each. Of course I had to pay shipping, but they also came with photo cards. Pretty much, I think all of these did. I do want to complete all the solos and I don't have Chetty's, but I want to get hers first press and there's one I've been eyeing. So I might do that. I guess I'll start on top and just show you all the photo cards I got. The most recent album I got was Hash. And I think technically this is first press. I know you can tell by like the, the manufacturer, but this is a limited. So I'm pretty sure that all the limiteds are first press. Cause I feel like after Butterfly era, all the albums became pretty accessible, especially if they reprinted them. This one, I don't think came with a photo card. It was kind of confusing. These are all from Depop. So you can't send pictures in the messaging, which I understand why, but also it's kind of inconvenience. I don't think, oh, they did give me, I do already have this Chetty, but it's nice that this came with a photo card because I didn't think it was. I know that hash limiteds aren't super rare. Also this era in terms of photo shoots were kind of disappointing. I have been a so what defender forever. Number one, oh yes I am. I know what this one's called, just don't ask me what it is right now. And I love 365. This is probably my favorite Luna ballad. Okay, the sellers sleep everything for me. This one's kind of damaged. Maybe that's why they gave it to me. This is the only top loader I have that isn't in a binder right now. And I have my Junji Howl card, but maybe I'll take this out. Maybe I'll put this on my Luna binder. We'll have to see. And then I also got Beauty and the Beat. I do also really want to get the limited. And then, oh yeah, I got Chu photo card. These photos are so cute. I really wanted this album because this is the era I really got into Luna. I don't have many two photo cards, so I'm happy to have this one. The rest are all solo, so I'll just quickly go through these. But this Eve was kind of damaged. Like you can see, I didn't think it was this bad. And then there's like a big line here and it kind of bothers me. So I might end up getting her other version. I don't know, but I had this photo card. I like all her photo card set for her solo and I kind of want to collect all four of them. And then I have Kim Lip. I love this cover. This might be my favorite photo book. And then I also got Rainbow Lip. Yeah, this photo shoot's insane. Especially this picture. Like, that's crazy. Kim Lip has my favorite Luna solo as well. I feel like that's a popular opinion, though. I also got Love and Live. I have Love and Evil. I bought that a while ago. Luna One Third is my favorite subunit. And I got Heejin for the photo card. Oh, I forgot the backs are blue. I pulled Heejin in my Love and Evil photo book, but I sold it and I kind of regret it. I love Love and Live, or is it Love and Live? I say Love and Live. I do prefer Sonatine though, but this album is incredible. And then I have Hustle Solo, and Let Me In is probably my second favorite. I just love a good fucking ballad. But this photo shoot is so cute. This is my favorite photo. Just everything about it, the background, the outfit. So beautiful. And then lastly, I have Heejin, who also has a bit of damage up here, but it's not a big deal. If it was at the bottom, it would bother me more, I think. But for photo card, I got her horizontal one. 
This photo shoot reminds me of Elvis's We First. Like, especially the carousel. They have photo cards from their debut album that look, that have like the same vibe. I wonder if it was the same carousel. Because it was kind of around the same time as well. Oh, wait, this was in France, so maybe not. <laughs> Elvis definitely did not go to France to have photo cards. So those are all the Luna albums I got. And these are the photo cards that came with them. I still want to get Hyunjin, Yojin, Vivi. I think Jinsel and Heju are the souls I'm missing. And Chetty's, but I'm going to get hers first press. And go on. I want hers first press. This is another album I opened because I couldn't wait because I was so excited to see what my poll was. This is version B for Asset Angel from Asia. Triple S's debut unit. And these cards are super fucking annoying to find. And... I'm not trying to collect OD4, but I kind of want to. And I overall just wanted more pulls that weren't like 20 plus dollars or like very hard to find and people claim them right away. So I was like, I'll just buy an extra copy. I have this version signed. I got the Hello 82 one. I do prefer the other version's photo book, but uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but for my photo card, I pulled this head in which I wanted her other version. That's kind of why I, I bought this, hoping to pull that card. I still really like this one. I have three out of the four for 210 though. So I could collect an OD4 set, but then that would mess up my Yuyan layout. But I wish I pulled Headphone Hidden or Pigtail Yubin. But one day I'll get those. I just really want those cards. <laughs> These two I got recently, they were both really cheap because they're like not <laughs> real albums. I was trying to save on space. I already have. A copy of I'm mine. I'm unsure if I want to buy the photo book version of Sola's album just because I'm not obsessed with the photo shoots. They are very pretty but she had this smaller envelope version and I do prefer the photo cards in this version. I haven't opened these yet. I just took off the plastic that were on them so it would make it easier for me but I'm gonna open Sola's album first and then this is freaking me out. Okay that wasn't too bad. It's a little sticky right there but I do plan on collecting most of Sola's photo cards. I don't know if I'm gonna collect all of them. I definitely want all the photo cards for the envelope version, which is really interesting that they did this. These look like the lyrics, and then the credits, and then this is her mini photo book. I think the photo cards in here. I really like the pink outfit. I know there's one where she's in a suit. So, oh, the suit one. I did really like this one. Nice. So this is the little photo book. It has like one from each concept. This was my favorite concept, I think. I haven't seen a ton of people selling these cards. I've seen a lot of stores opening up for like pre order benefits and fan sign stuff. So hopefully there'll be a lot of leftover album cards, but I'm not sure. But I'm glad I have at least this one. And then the last album I have, I got this today. And I bought this from Mercari US. So I have EXID's Lady. Ooh. This was one of the last EXID albums I wanted. Is this damage? Or is this supposed to be like this? We got Jungla's CD plate or CD cover. Just kidding, you can change it out to whoever you want. My bias is actually Halen. So maybe I'll make her the cover. And then we get a bunch of stickers, I'm assuming. And then I believe I got Helen's photo card. So it's probably in here. Yeah. It's her with a kitty filter on. I don't know why I was expecting this to be bigger for some reason. This was only a single album. It just comes with Lady and then the instrumental. But I love Lady. Even though Soulji wasn't a part of this comeback, I still felt her soul, you know? Or maybe they did that for texture? It could be damaged. Who knows? I completely forgot to open this I've Mine Pliv version, PLVE. I need Ray's card. I also really like liz's photo card i do really like this photo card set though because they're all in the baggy version i'm hoping to pull ray so i don't have to buy her oh this is the group card this photo shoot is so cool 
the baddie teasers were probably my favorite and then the photo card yeah hers is so cute i know wanyoung had a bow as well i might put her up for trade for ray so if you have ray and want to trade for liz i will trade but if i can't find a trade i'm just gonna keep her because she is so cutie pie i don't think i ever did an intro for this video but i think this is gonna be the first clip of this video i have a makara japan box on the way and just some other random photo card stuff should i start doing youtube intros hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel you okay goodbye i have some more mail to open this i've gotten over the past like two to three weeks i've been kind of saving it up so a lot of these are open because they're from mercari i'm going to start with this album i got this elvis summer dream album off ebay i sent in an offer for like 20 dollars, and the seller accepted there was only like one picture of this album so i was kind of concerned about the quality but there's no scratches on the front so however Whoever put this album together, you can kind of see it here. They like put it on completely crooked. Like whoever put my album together was smoking crack, I think. But this is still such a pretty album. This picture of Dola is so cute. This is before they had seven members. I think this is before Jackpot. So the next comeback they had. They added the two members and then it also came with photo cards but i already did store it in my last storing video because i was too impatient also the way the seller packaged this album was kind of crazy they took a huge just sheet of cardboard folded it in half shoved the album in no bubble wrap nothing and then they just taped up the sides so it wouldn't fall out but it came safe so i guess that works but i was kind of terrified and then i have two of these now i think i just shoved the one I already had into here. Credits. I thought these were album credits, but this is just like a cute little flip book. And then the photo cards I got were Doa and Soe. Yep, very happy to have this album finally. I just need their debut and then Dance On and Showdown, but those should be easy to get. I'm gonna open my letters next. These are all opened as well because I like to send proofs as soon as possible. Oh, this is my Triple S Seasons Greetings. This is who I joined the Go For. They bought so many Seasons Greetings. So you should buy from them if they still have leftovers. This is New Jeans. Danielle. Cute. I love these little note papers. I will definitely use these. I have Yujin's entire Seasons Greetings set. I didn't even know we were getting the poster. They have her little mini postcard and then her object. Oh, I already scanned it. And then the two Polaroids. I also have Sohyun and Dahyun's sets somewhere in this pile as well. Oh, this is a group order I joined. I actually finally don't have a million of these. Cause I was able to sell all my fansign copies or my extra copies that I got from joining fansign. You know what I mean? But I joined this group of the manager again. Oh, this picture is so cute. Another cat. Oh yeah, I took it out of the top one already. But I got her bear hat one. This is from MMT. And they're like slightly bigger than a normal photo card, or I guess like what triple s has for normal photo cards the bare one is still photo card size like it i'm pretty sure it fits in normal sleeves this set is so funny i think only yuyan and yunji were having the like reindeer filter everyone else had like little santa hats also she has long hair in this and this wait no hair short in this one right but she just randomly has long hair again these two i believe are still from instagram sellers but i got them tracked this cute soyun that is falling off. I'll put her somewhere. I bought a set of Luna trading cards. A cute Suki freebie. I'm definitely gonna deco with these. There is one card in specific I really wanted, but I also wanted more Yojin and Household cards, and the set had a few. So I have Moon Yojin, and then Kat Hyunjun. I wanted this so bad. 
And then this hustle. I love her blonde hair. And then another kitchen. And then this unit. I've almost bought this unit like 20 million times because it's so fucking cute. And then the chew leaf. Yes, that was all. I want to get more random Luna cards. And these trading card sets are so cute. This is... I think this is my Tribalist Aria go. Oops. I was so confused when I opened this. I was like, why is there an evolution QR thing? I joined for Aria's debut. I believe for the MMT one where they're like squishing their face. And I got Daehyun because she's my fave in this unit. These are just the normal QR albums. Nothing super crazy. The digital objects they did for this release were so cute though. They're very similar to these photos. But these are very cheap. And it is nice to have a physical release for other releases. So I didn't mind. We have it too. Cheyon. Kaide. Dahyun. Oh, this picture is insane. And then Nian. I do feel like this comeback slash debut was kind of rushed. This was happening kind of around the same time that the next girls were being debuted or released or revealed. That's the word I'm thinking of. So I'm really hoping they don't rush Assemble 24. I don't think that's going to happen until April or May. So hopefully that's enough time to release. Not release. Oh my god. Reveal the last four girls. So I don't know how they're going to do that, but hopefully it all works out. They put the pre-order inside of this Evolution QR album. I thought that was funny. So thank you for this. I'll definitely reuse this for something. Yeah, that hands. And then T-Pob. Technically like the squish egg photo card. I felt like this was bigger than a normal photo card. I guess this is just the standard MMT size for Triple S. I might get a few more pre-orders if I see them. But they only did a few fan sign pre-order rounds. And I'm not sure how many people bought them. So, but I'm glad to have this die here. Ooh, this also is from an Instagram seller. This is who I bought from. This must be all my CSR stuff. So I'm already complete with CSR's album photo cards. So I have been kind of looking for some non-album sets and stuff because I miss them very bad. So I got in, what one is this? I got a Make Star set, OT7, because they were selling this whole set for $20. And I thought it was so cute, their little party hats. And then I got three other ones. So I have this Sula. Uh, these are all from Delight, except for this one, but this one is from MMT. I thought her outfit was really cute. And then this is from Make Star. Little hood ones that every single group in existence has a card in that hood. And then this is from their first anniversary, I believe. It looks like it's from Delight era, but I'm pretty sure these were anniversary cards from Ethel and K. They didn't have Suas, but Yuna is a very close, probably first bias, so I wanted hers anyway. I really hope they have a comeback soon. Duna, Soyeon, Gumi, and Yehem, they were all on a survival show, like a Thai survival show. Yehem, Soyeon, and Gumi were all eliminated like two days ago, but Duna still made it. So I don't really know what's going to happen if she makes it. I like want her to make it because that would be really cool for her, but also hopefully they have a comeback this year. Hopefully within the next like five months. Please! Please! Then everything else is from Mercari Japan. They gave me a lot of freebies. I have this EU Arrival of Everglow, this big postcard. I can tell they had it up on their wall by the tape marks. And then they also gave me some Wiki Mickey freebies, which you can kind of assume what's going to be in this. They were selling this Ellie Dazzle Dazzle card, and I know the Dazzle Dazzle cards are kind of hard to find. And then Ellie's also my fave in Wiki Mickey, and I'm kind of collecting her. I just got a few of her cards. I have them in my Makara Japan package. We can make it, you're never gonna have a comeback, probably ever. I know their contract renewal things are coming up soon, so I'm assuming they probably won't sign. Unless they're gonna be actors or something, but I hope Ellie has like a solo career or something, because I would definitely collect her, because I love her so much. 
And then I got this set on. I know this isn't the seller's fault, but I wish they told me. Because this was like $7. I'm almost done with my, my little society set. Yeah, that's what I got in the seller. I've never seen a seller do this. This is the back of the bubble mailer. They just like put all their fucking info right here. I bought a bunch of triple S and Heejin stuff. So these were the other sets I got for the season greetings. So I have Sohyun's two Polaroid set. This one's so cute. I am so in love with her. And then I also have Dahyun's Polaroids. And then I got Dahyun's object. Also for the season greetings. I don't know how I'm going to set this up in my binder yet, but I really wanted these. And then I got these two Heejin objects. I'm glad this seller had a bunch of like Mod House related stuff. So I could just buy it all in one set. But this is my other favorite Heejin object from her solo. And then also this one. I still think the one where she's in the sweater is my favorite. But also this one, is it a uh, humbug? And then this one, because I love how long her nails are. So I have four Heejin objects now, so it'll fit all on a four pocket page, which was kind of my goal. I'm pretty sure this is the last thing if I don't get any mail today. This one I was getting kind of worried about because it took like two weeks to get to me. Oh, I didn't see this. It's a Yidin, right? Yidin from Everglow. I'm pretty sure this is official. This is from Artemis's Season's Greetings. I have Heejin stickers. And then this is the seller. But I got Chetty's Artemis Season's Greeting object. I think it's so pretty. I also really want the Polaroid, the like pre-order benefit one. But those have been kind of expensive. That's the end of this clip. I have two limelight related packages. This one's a group order, and this one I got off Macari. And I already opened these to send proofs, but this is my last dance group order. I just kind of joined it randomly. I don't even think I knew what the pre order looked like, but it's really cute. Oops. It's white going really so cute <gasps> i think this is the keychain thing and then i think i got the night version so there's two versions of the nemo album but i didn't get the physical nemo which i don't really care about but these are all the cards that come in every nemo album i love this picture so much it came with kind of a lot of photo cards but this is the pre-order it's from everline yeah I think there's Everline 1 and 2. This might be the second one. I'm not too sure, but this one is my favorite. I love the blush and the little bows. And then I have all my album cards. So here's all my pulls. I'm pretty sure all the backs are the same. Maybe? Are these the same? They look the same. This is my favorite photo card from this version. I love her wig. And here's the units. And these are flimsy, so I'm assuming that they are stickers. This was the group order, and then these are just some extra album cards I bought after I got my pulls. So I have a few extra new cards. I was so confused when opening this because I didn't know it was my limelight cards. Another keychain thing. And then this was a freebie, but this is a sticker. Oh my peeled off here. Interesting. These are all from Last Dance as well. I think this is the non-random one from the day version. From like the orange version. And then this card is so funny to me. I love her outfit in this card. This is from 2020, her solo song. And her shirt says stop being, and then it's cut off. I'm pretty sure this shirt says stop being poor. That like Paris Hilton shirt reference. This one, I think it's a microphone. 
but it kind of looks like a flower i don't know but she looks very pretty that was all for this clip i'm pretty sure these are my sujong two racks albums and this package was sitting out in the rain so hopefully everything is okay i got two of each version so i should have all the pre-orders that were released this is the group order manager. I join all their Sujongos basically because they're like the only US based group order manager that does Sujongos. I think the pre orders are in here. And I got them unsealed, so hopefully I have a good variety of cards. Okay, these are a lot skinnier than I thought, so that is good. <gasps> no! My charm fell off. <laughs> I'll put that back on later. So here are all the versions. I think this is the shit version, Fallen Angels. And then I think this is the Bad Girls, or maybe this is the Bad Girls one. I don't know. There's only three songs on this EP, I guess, which I feel like three versions for only three songs is kind of a lot. But I've seen previews of the photo books and they're really pretty. Out of the three songs, Fallen Angels is probably my favorite. I liked shit. I like shit. <laughs> Bad Girls was interesting. The lyrics are kind of hilarious though. My favorite lyric is that's my evil twin, my Korean sister. <laughs> and then these are all featured by Zylo. She's an American artist and she was very cute. I'm pretty sure this is the main concept. Here's the CD. Oh yeah, this is the shit version. Why are there holes everywhere? What are these? <laughs> Here's the stickers and then poster a calendar these cute drawings and they do have xylo in it there's no xylo photo cards though <laughs> they're so cute and then this has a guitar pick This is, oh, it's a pop-up. Cute. And then here's the photo card. Yes, I wanted this one. I'm gonna open the other one. I think these are all the same. And then here's the other photo card. We'll do the Fallen Angel version. This CD. Ooh, I really like the sticker sheet. Then, oh like a fold-out calendar Ugh. love the photography love this photo book and then we have another guitar pick and then probably another standee this guitar pick has a wing on it get a photo card so pretty here's my other copy in the same outfit as this one and i have two copies of the Gigi pack CD. This one comes with two photo cards, and then I think this one's a lenticular. And then my Fallen Angels concept, and then skirts, and this poster. Another standee, and really tiny photo book. Did you pack? I'm glad I'm getting a good variety of pulls. Then oh, this outfit's so cute. Another meat face. Great pulls. Now I'll go through all the pre-order benefits. I'm not sure. We have Soundwave. And I'm not sure what the other two stores were. <laughs> this one. This is my favorite one from the preview.
then these two are pretty similar. These are the sound wave ones. These were on my Sujong polls. Everyone streamed her new song, Walking on Clouds. I love her so bad. I'm finally gonna open this Macari Japan package and my nails have kind of gotten fucked up a little bit. I also had this for a while. I'm gonna take it now. I bought from this artist before their Angel Lady Art. And I only got two things. I got this sticker pack of Luffy, Law, and Kid from One Piece. And then this is the main thing I wanted. I have two of these, the Game Boy cartridge keychain things. So the new one are Punk Hazard, which is one of my favorite One Piece arcs. And I think this glows in the dark. And these sticker freebies are so cute. The egghead Luffy. I'm gonna try to go through this really fast because I don't have a lot of storage on my phone and I want to finish editing this so I don't want to take forever. I'm gonna start with this quarter magazine. They were on mats and Sion and Magenta on the front and then Hina and Choran on the back. And it comes with a photo card which I got Magenta's. I guess technically this is the front. Let's get the bare pages. They just announced a comeback, like today. And I hope for their album inclusions, they still do where you get four album cards in an album. I'll probably still try to collect all the numbers. So hopefully collecting won't be that hard. Cool. I think that was all their spread. very artistic magazine. <laughs> I got some Lovelies albums. I kind of want to collect all of them, but I have so many albums that I've bought recently, so I'm just buying my favorites for now. So I'll open Sanctuary first. This is the limited version. This is probably one of my favorite albums from them. It's not really a full book, it's basically just a bunch of pictures. I don't think I'm gonna go through it all. And then giant posters. None of these albums came with photo cards. They're all really cheap. This Fallen Lovelies. This is another one of my favorite albums. Here is their first full album, Lovelies 8. Here's the CD. This is the one with Achu on it. Cutie Pies, I love them. Those are all the loveliest albums I got. I really want Heal. Oh, I need to put this back there. And then I bought Hui's solo debut, Who Is Me. And this photo book is so interesting. There's like a slip cover and then two photo books. And I think this came with photo cards, but I don't remember. Here's this one. This is the more casual one. I love the bathtub. There's also these weird, like, things in the middle of the albums. And then this one's my favorite. It's like the more fun party concept. Like, there's just this random holographic paper. I love his mullet. Alright, here's the CD. I don't think I ever talk about Pentagon, but I do really love Pentagon, even though I don't think they're going to be very active anymore. But Hui was always my favorite. I was obsessed with him when he was in Triple H. I'm surprised he didn't go solo sooner as well. Oh, let me get an ID. This is very weirdly shaped for an ID. And then I got this bunny card. And then Dinosaur. Very cute. And then the last album I got is this Dreamcatcher album. This is Dystopia, The Tree of Language with the title track Scream. I really wanted this one because this is 
the era I really got into Dreamcatcher. And this is their first full album as well. And I love this blue version. Mainly for this first concept. And then I came with Juice Dandy. And then here's a CD. Scream is one of my favorite title tracks from them. And Jazz Walker kind of changed my life. Now I have all my photo card stuff. It's not a ton. This was kind of the leftovers I had from stuff that didn't make it. So I just kind of randomly bought some stuff. Let's get photo cards. This looks like Ray's 11 Japan postcard. Because I got her 11 Japan photo card. And this might be my favorite Ray photo card of all time. She's so fucking cute. I have another Ray card. This is also another Japanese release. Love her pink hair. After like. And love dive. I have Soyeon's love bomb purple back one. And I have some jam top and top cards. Or just two. Because these came in a set. And I really like both of these cards. So I might start collecting another set to talk and talk, but I think I'm going to store this one. This is her selfie one. I bought this other magenta card, but it's slightly bigger than a normal photo card. I love the heart gems. I hope they do more bobs like this for their new comeback. I have this Mayu. And then Chan. So now evolution is complete. Nizu did, I think trading card packs maybe? Or some sort of merch for press play. These two cards are the main reason I wanted them. I need these two. And then comes with a concept card and another concept card and then an ID. I found a bunch of Wiki Wiki Ellie cards and I'm so in love with her. So I picked up a few. These are, these are from Kiss Kicks. And I'm not planning to fully collect her. I just picked up a few cards. I love Wiki Wiki and they're probably never gonna have another comeback. So I just want a few cards. These three are all from their debut. Is it just self-titled? Weenies? Yeah. This one's a little damaged. I'm gonna keep these in my random miscellaneous binder. But if I end up getting more cards for her, I might move her into an A5, but probably not likely. This is the last card I have, which is this Irene Day 2 card, her iconic shadow Irene. I really wanted this and right when I was about to buy it, I had a coupon for like 20% off and then also my credit card gave me credit balance. So I think I paid $3 for this. So that is pretty swag. I think that's the last card. I did get some other stuff, but I don't feel like opening it on camera. Ew. So thanks for watching.